Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, I am not here today. So within there, you're going to go through this video. And at the end, I'm going to give you instructions on exactly what you need to do in order to get your homework and everything completed for the day. Now, I've included the definitions for our vocabulary that we have on our first page. In just a second, go ahead and pause it. Make sure that you have all of that information. A coefficient is the numerical factor of a term that contains a variable. So it's that number that's in tied with and paired with our variable. Remember co, co meaning pair. Okay, multiplication equation is an equation where there is a multiplication operation. Multiplication operation. Sir Jonathan makes mistakes sometimes too. So for instance, 4n equals 25. Our division equation is an equation where there is a division operation. A over 4 equals 5. Remember, all fractions are division, so that's what you're going to be working with. The division property of equality is that if you divide each side by the same non-zero number, then the sides stay equal. So 4 over A, 4A, four, 4 times A equals 20. Divide both sides by 4 and we get A is 5. The multiplication property of equality same thing, but it's when we have a division equation, we use multiplication to undo that division. So if we look down below, in order to solve a multiplication equation, first things first, I apologize for moving fast. Go ahead, pause the video, fill in what you need to in your vocabulary, then hit play when you're ready to go again. When we solve a multiplication equation, okay, we use our inverse operation. So the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide each side by the coefficient. So if we have 2x equals 10, we're going to rewrite the equation there. Then we're going to divide by that coefficient. That will cancel out our 2, our coefficient on that side. And then we have 10 divided by 2 equals 5. In order to, to check it, we substitute 5 back in within our equation to determine whether or not it's true. Now, so solving division operations, equations. The same thing that we have, but because we're dividing, the inverse operation is multiplication. So we would then multiply by the denominator on both sides. So we have a over 3 equals 7. We multiply by 3 to both sides and we get a equals 21. Now we need to check our solution so we put 21 back in for a. We simplify and we got it from there. Now what I want you to do is the three you try problems. Go ahead pause the video now, do those problems and come back and hit play when you're ready. Okay. Take a look and check your answers. Okay. Here we're dividing by or multiplying by 8 in order to undo our division. So it's x divided by 8 equals 9. So we're multiplying both sides by 8. And we get x is 72. We check our work. Here we're dividing by 2, so we have to multiply both sides by 2 in order to get our equation. So x equals 60. And there's our example two problem as well. Now, today, what you're going to do is you're going to go through the lesson four and lesson five problem solving practice. You're going to do questions one, three, and five on both of those. Then for your homework, you have the lesson four and five homework practice. On both of those, you need to do all the questions that are circled. All the questions that are circled. If you have any problems or need some help, I have put the video key video for three and four, which is using the division property of equality and multiplication property of equality. Go ahead and watch those if you need additional help. Okay? Hope you guys have a good day, and I will see you on Monday.